Hello, uh, everybody. My name is Isel Velasquez, and I coordinate the Ministry of Social Actions and the Church Shalom in Mexico City. And uh, this Baptist Church Shalom, we believe uh, in, in our name because Shalom means peace. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our project. And we we've always worked with communities that have been uh, made vulnerable and uh, made invisible and uh, been abusive, like the migrant community and the indigenous community. We uh, put together the project in, in two parts. The first part is two visits to the migration centers or embracing centers for migrants that are just passing by our country. And so we take a medical brigade and a dental brigade. And we also do workshops for children, for um, for youth and men and women. And so we also give them some orientation on the framework of dignity and respect to their rights. And for the indigenous community, we do something similar. We also take our medical brigade and our dental brigade and we do a Bible study and we also have workshops with our brothers and sisters in the community. And so what we are wanting is to just cultivate the brethren. And we also talk about um, violence against women and children. And also uh, we work a little bit on the, on the theme of cultural richness and wealth um, for the indigenous people. And I think it's fundamental for us that they would know that there are people and churches who work for them and uh, who work in the name of Jesus, which is the most important thing, that we believe that a new world is possible, a world with peace and justice. So for Shalom, is not something new. We've always been very committed to these uh, topics of peace and justice, and that's why we put them to action. We put our action into work and that's why we work where we work and and that's why we've chosen these projects we also want to thank you for believing in our project for believing together with us that a new world is possible and for helping us out to be able to reach out to these places where we can bring a little bit of peace and where we have the hope and, and faith that we can be that grain of light that can lighten in the midst of the lack of hope of these communities. Thank you, BPFNA, for your support. Thank you for your donations. I invite you to continue to do it because we keep these projects alive. And these projects don't just touch our lives, but they touch the lives of all these communities and these people who at the end of the day are our lives that can touch other lives. So thank you again. And uh, we're going to continue working for them in the name of Jesus. And that it can be noticed by our work, you know, and in, in the name of the one who we've believed. And so also 40 years for BPFNA and the ones that are remaining many more. Thank you.